Hello everyone, this is Maria from Maria's Craft and Corner, CraftingCorner.com. <laughs> Welcome to another video making card video. Oh my gosh, another card making video. Hello, hi Tara, hi Kiwi, how are you guys doing? Seems like I need to like um get my brain connected to my mouth but hopefully we do have a good video today so oh my god guys can you believe it's almost the end of october i don't know where it's gone i so we don't necessarily celebrate halloween i love halloween but it's not a thing in our family but like it's just gotten completely crazy um for me thank you Tara, I appreciate that. Hey, Susie. Hey, Connie. Oh, by the way, Susie, good news. I got the masks today, so I will send my um, little gifts probably tomorrow or um, Thursday. So, yay! I'm so excited. They were finally off, available. I could finally get them. And they're finally here. It feels like they came via snail mail, but it's fine. <laughs> It's fine, guys. We got them. Okay, so let's see. News, same as before. Guys, don't miss this one. If you are not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you want some savings, this is the way to go. And so um, I, I am super surprised. Like, I had not really paid attention to it until people actually started. <laughs> joining my team because I was like oh my god there's gotta be a reason for this right and so it's really worth it guys I wanted to show you this did somebody get this one already so this is like a, a advent countdown I got it guys and I can't wait to make it I have not made it yet but I certainly hope I get that going hello Adrian hello Joan Oh, Tebu is, um, Tara is saying that um, her sister loves Halloween, but not the spooky stuff. Um, you know what? I like Halloween. I like the colors of it. I mean, there's something about it that it's attracting. I like it. I am not going to lie. But I just, hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I just don't decorate the house with thank you. I appreciate that, Elizabeth. Hey, Cliffy, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Um, you know what? It's just one of those things that we just don't have a lot. I don't know. I do have a couple and I made in the past a couple of wreaths. Oh my God. And I love my Halloween wreaths. Oh, okay. Adrian, let me check on that. Um, so anyways, super excited. Hey, by the way, Adrian, that reminds me that... Send me an email with the card you liked from the previous um, live so I can send you the one that you, you know, I can send you the card. <laughs> okay, guys. So the second thing, probably the last thing, I just want to remind you guys, the paper pumpkin kit is, um, it's, this is the new one. These are little treat boxes. I have not seen them, but I, I can't wait to get them either. Tara, I think that's because you're on Facebook. Maybe. So I'm just saying. Okay, so a couple of things I want to tell you. I made a change. I am up there instead of down in the other corner. What do you guys think? If you can, guys can tell me. So every time I'm crafting, it feels like I'm crafting in this corner for whatever reason. And so you can't see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that in the corner is less in the way. Um, so let me know maybe after after today's or, maybe, or through the live, let me know if that positioning is better. Okay, so I... This is a card I've seen a hundred times on Pinterest. I decided to make it up till now. And I just realized 
that is like turn around from something I've done before. But I had not realized that until, I don't know, probably like two o'clock today, I was thinking of it and looking at it. And I was like, oh, it is actually a card we've made in the past. I believe we have. Thank you, Anita. Welcome. It's better. Thank you, Elizabeth. It feels like it's going to be better because, again, like my crafting area is here. It's a little up here because it's closer, obviously, to me. Um, but, you know, I, I was thinking, it, actually, I was re-watching um, one of, of the other videos and I was like, I'm always like moving everything because I'm on the way. So anyways, I figured let's try that and see how that goes. Oh, okay, Tara. Uh, I think you can. Okay, so the new corner seems to be a good idea. I'm glad, guys. Okay, so let's start with the card. Oh, yeah. I was cleaning my 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 um friend today. Real quick. It was not like a lot, but at least I took all the gooey stuff out of the way. <laughs> it just looks so terrible. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start, and this is just a piece of old cardstock. Um, this measures 12 by 5 and a half. I was going to try to make it 11, um, but I didn't I didn't try. And, the, and I'll explain later, probably when we fold it all together, you'll see why. It just ends up being like three and three and three quarters. So these would be three and three quarters, and I feel that it's it's going to be too small. Um, the card already, once it's full, is going to be four by five and a half. So um, the reason I was trying to do that into the 11 inch side is, you know, because not everybody has um, 12 inch paper, but I know you guys forgive me every so often it happens. Um, I actually was very sad. I was thinking today that Stampin' Up! should have like, um, it should have, what's the name of this thing? Like just 12 by 12 on its own. And my brother is right there. Hey, bro. <laughs> um, so I just feel like, you know, like I just feel like, I don't want to get all the colors, they say, all the neutrals to buy Night of Navy, which is usually the one I buy, or black, right? I'm still using some of the black that they had last year um, in a mini catalog. But, you know, like, I just wish they have more options um, on the 12 by 12. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. I am live. Guys, so Tara is saying, um, am I still live? Can tell on YouTube. Can you guys let me know if everything is fine on your end? It seems fine on my end, but I can't tell. If you guys can let me know, I appreciate it, guys. Anyways, so this is 12 by 5 and a half. If somebody can let me know if it's okay in YouTube, um... I appreciate it, guys. Please, please. Okay, and we're going to come here and align it for... This is a very... Thank you, Cliffy. This is a very simple card compared to the one we did last <laughs> last week. And we're going to score here at four. We're going to move to six. And we are going to go to one and a half and score towards the top. And then we're going to move to four and score towards the bottom. So bottom line, we got... Okay, thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Susie. I appreciate you guys letting me know. So we have um, half an inch and a half. So again, from four to towards the bottom and from one and a half towards the top. And now we're going to move these a tiny bit. We're going to move these. Let's see if you guys can see more or less. And we're going to move to eight. At least the eight is an easy score because we can score all the way. And then we're going to move to 10. And we're going to do the same scoring we did before, which was from the top to one and a half, more or less, and from four to the top. Hey, Ida, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Thank you for sharing, Becky. I appreciate it. Hi, Ida. How are you? Okay. So I know it's a little bit hard to see. But I am going to bring my pen and show you guys more or less where it goes. So we have one score line 
we have the two score lines here. Don't pay attention to my um, very straight stuff. Here's the eight, and here's the one at 10. Okay, so this is how you're going to get. Actually, I already have the PDF almost done. I always have to add the extra pictures, but it does have a template, so it's going to be a little bit easier. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to align the five and a half inch side towards the top of the trimmer and align here at one and a half, and we're going to cut. That's very simple, and we're going to cut between these two, so between six and ten. Okay, so between the two shorter score lines. And you know, guys, I always do this carefully because, you know, I always feel that it's worth to do it carefully. Now we're going to move, yes, you guessed it, to four. And we are going to cut there. So this is our card. It's very simple. Now I'll show you now that I have it here what I was talking about. And you guys are going to laugh. So this is going to go like so. This is an old piece of cardstock. I don't even know where I got it. Maybe it's from Michaels. Um, so this is going to be like our front. And then we're going to get this. Let's see. Like, ah, Guys, don't pay attention to me like this and then this one goes mountain this one folds valley and this one in the middle will fold valley and i'm just going to do this real quick um okay so this is the card this is how it's going to look okay hey judy how are you welcome i hope you're feeling better so this is how the card looks like i have not done this card before but Dun, 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 dun. I think I have done something similar in the past like this. Okay, guys, wait. So, ah. so this one backwards like this or something like that. I think we've done something like this in the past, right? I don't know, I have the feeling that we have, and I was looking at something and I was like, oh my God, of course we've done this. So we're doing this version. I'm pretty sure we've done like this in the past. <laughs> so just in case guys, hey, it happens. We definitely um, evolved with this uh, fun folds, right? So this is how it looks. I'm sorry, I was trying to show you how I think we've done that one in the past, just the other way around. But um, this is how it goes. And you guys know that I always like to decorate, the, I mean, to make these. So we'll do these together. We'll cut here in a little bit, these together, so I can show you what I did to cut these. And we're gonna put our friend back in there, and we're gonna bring our piece. And of course, that's why I was talking about, because this is, in Night of Navy, and guys, I can't see at all if I use Night of Navy. Um, like when I'm cutting, Jesus, it's so dark. So I'm going to bring my bone folder, and we are going to um, score this. And I just want to show you this because I just was thinking, oh, my God. So these beads is supposed to be good cardstock. Look how flimsy it is compared to our cardstock. Um, like, can you tell? Like I was trying to do these folds, it wouldn't do it. It was just it's just super flimsy compared to our car stock. So one of the reasons, one of the other reasons to belong to Stampin' Up. I'm just saying, guys. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna do this very, very slowly so I don't damage the rest of the card. Um, right, like the card stock, because in the end it has different uh it goes different ways see if you start in this side and do it slowly it kind of starts folding on itself and then at some point you have exactly what you need right which is these two are going to come like this and then we fold and i thank you judy i appreciate that and now i'm going to bring my bone folder and we're going to score I mean, crease those score lines. Um, by the way, it's very interesting. 
because these could also like if you create this you could also create a pop-up something like this it sounds cool right so I just thought about so maybe we'll do a card with this as a pop-up and we create something in here to have fun I don't know it just it just came to my brain but bottom line now this is the card so much better wonderful cardstock guys I keep saying this I love Stampin' Up's cardstock it is just amazing okay so we are going to be using today Chining Bright um, I know another of one of those papers that I saw, I think it's been more available than all of our autumn, but it's been sort, you know, it's been an issue, but we're going to be using that one because I want to use it. I have used a little bit, but not all of it. And I think it's time that we use it and it's going to be available next week. So if you are as OCD as I am, I would like, I will start looking like on Monday and then on Tuesday and so forth. It says available on the week of the 30th. So I just would start looking um, if you have not gotten it. And I am using gold foil and thankfully it's not as shiny as some other gold uh, papers that we've had. So this is going to be our first layer here. And we are going to put this layer because it makes it a little bit easier to um, work. And did you see guys this? It was about to mess up my card, my, my card, my um, paper. So I'm not sure what's going on with the Stamping Seal Plus. I think it's really rebellious because I've been using glue. Okay guys, so I wish I could show you my weather app we have been like i don't know like low 70s every every day of the week and then like the day after tomorrow it goes to i don't know i think it's like i'm thinking in celsius that's why it's taking a little bit of time but i think it's going to be like 30 31 32 like it's downhill it's just so crazy sometimes the weather here in colorado so anyways, this is guys an A smaller and so I didn't go on the measurements. This is four by five and a half. So this is, um, oh my God, three, seven, eights. No, yeah, three, seven, eights by five and three eights. Um, I was just thinking, don't forget to put the ribbon and I have not decided if I want the ribbon on top or below. So I'll show you guys here real quick. My idea is I even have a bow. Look at me being all prepared and all and stuff. So my idea is to have something like this in the front. And so I just don't know if I want it on the top or if I want it just like a little glitter accent. Um, of course, this is this. Is so beautiful right that I am glad that you're doing okay Judy um, this ribbon is so beautiful that it is worth showing so that's my thought that's why I was like oh do I want it on top I am not sure see like if I put it on top like this you can see a little bit more of the ribbon but I just don't know if I like it better and it's just like a little bit of of the ribbon so I've not decided that and I should decide now huh what you guys think on top or out and then we can put our little bow in here look at me I actually made a good bow ain't you guys proud of me what you guys think on top or below I'll wait a couple a couple of seconds, maybe not seconds, a little bit more than that. We have these ready. I'm not seeing anybody answering, um, and I keep not being sure. I think I'm going to leave it below, guys. And this on top? Okay, Susie. Woo! So let's see. Hey, Carrie, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So Susie says on top, so Susie probably likes these driven as much as I do. Um, 
Chow the ribbon. Okay, so chow the ribbon. Makes sense, right? Okay, so we're going to adhere the... I know, not adhere. Well, I'm trying to see how to do this, guys. How I want to do this. Because I need to stamp this. So that means... Change of wheels, guys. Change of wheels. We are going to stamp this first. And... um. Where is the one? There was a Merry Christmas and I just lost it. So that's fine, guys. That's fine. I love when that happens, don't you think? Oh, I found it. Oh, my God. So, Carrie, I was asking. So I want to use the ribbon, this beautiful ribbon. And I was asking if we want it like this and then the circles on top or on top of the circles that's what we were trying to decide um i do have just so you have the rest of the information a little bow that i'm going to put eventually on there um i did find a merry christmas i don't know what i was thinking by the way guys i did not mention this i will be using the stars at night um, the bundle and then I will be using the dice of the magical meadow um, I forgot to mention that sorry guys I got excited talking so there is a beautiful Merry Christmas that I was not finding and it is here yay we are going to put this one in here I am going to use blue I like Top the ribbon. Okay, Adrian, we were trying to decide. I think we're all okay. Let me see. I'm going to bring the... I think we're all okay. Let me see. I'm going to bring the Knight of Navy. And we're going to stamp our Merry Christmas. I have not used this Merry Christmas. So same as always, guys. I always try first there um, to make sure it is okay. There's some of my dogs. More ribbon. <laughs> Kiwi, Kiwi, you're so funny. Okay, I'm going to put this, this Merry Christmas towards the top, right? Because if we're going to have the ribbon on the lower side, we're going to, um, we're going to need this towards the top. And I'm making cl these closer to me so I can see sort of, okay, where I'm stamping. And I can see that this is not totally, there it goes. And hopefully that is decent enough. That's one of the reasons why I love um, the polymer stamps. It's because I feel that I can see fairly okay what I am doing, right? I love rubber because I know they're really, really good quality, but guys, sometimes. And so we're going to adhere these. And I'm going to use glue. I'm going to say this again. I know that I've said this, but this, when you're using glue on top of foil, it, it really slides a lot. <laughs> like, be mindful because it does slide. So I'm going to let that for a minute to dry because I don't want that to get all messed up. And in the meantime, I already have four of these two panels that go in these four um I was going to say corners, but these four areas. And, of course, again, I am using gold foil and that beautiful paper from the um, Shining Brightly. This area measures one and a half by two. And so these are one and three eighths by, so actually it's one and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And the in the other one inside is a an in an eighth smaller. Like I've said in the past, guys, don't worry about the measurements. The um, PDF tutorial is almost ready, and it is, and it will be linked to my um, website. I would say about an hour after we're done, um, because again, I have to take the pictures and include them in there and all the good stuff, and so. Um, Making sure this is okay-ish. It's a little bit harder to see when they're like this and they're so dark. 
I'm telling you guys, I think I'm going to have to go to the, I was going to say the dentist, but no, not the dentist, to the, um, oh my gosh, I can't find my other pieces. That would be a disaster. That is a disaster. I found them, guys. I found them. I found them. It's okay. How often, guys, how often do I lose stuff? I was talking about that in one of the videos. And I just can't believe how often I lose stuff when I am crafting. It's kind of it's kind of funny until it's not really funny because, you know, you would like things to go a little bit smoother, especially when you're live. But no. Okay. So these are the pieces we're going to get in here. I am hoping this other one is fairly dry. It seems like it is. And so this we are going to put in here. And I'm bringing, oh, so I was using some, <laughs> Kiwi, oh my God, to those on Facebook, Kiwi is, is very surprised that I'm using gold foil. Hey, I have behaving very well. You guys, you, you should like, actually, aren't you surprised that I've just used it now? That is what you should be surprised. <laughs> That is so funny. And I'm going to center this because I have a couple of other things that I want to use, right? And I am not sure how this is going to go. We're going to decorate this together. And we're going to bring our beautiful... Yeah, guys, I have to say, these ribbon, there are things that Stampin' Up's done really, really well. And I love this ribbon. This ribbon is definitely a keeper. I am going to turn this. I, I cut a bigger piece than I needed, but I know you guys know that I always do that because I struggle. Um, I really think that it's so much better when you actually um, have extra instead of being like, oh my God, I did not um, use enough, right? And so let me... So we have one, and then we'll bring another little piece. I'm so glad that my, my friends know me well. Right? You guys are awesome. Okay. Second piece. And now we have the ribbon. And I, I have to say, guys, doesn't that look super pretty? I think that it's hard to see with the light and the camera, but it's just so pretty. That ribbon, oh my gosh. Anyways, now let's do the other two pieces because it's just going to make it easier. We are going to do a template. I have already cut them, but um, I just think it's easier using a template. So we're going to need two pieces of three and seven eighths by five and three eighths. And this is going to be, that's my dog guys, sorry. This is going to be the first layer for these two areas. Okay. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to, and I have my little cheat sheet here, as you know that I always do. So I don't make any mistakes. So we're going to align the, the um, I said three and seven eighths, I said, right? Three and seven eighths towards the top of the trimmer. And we are going to align here at one and seven eighths, okay? So that's the first two things. And now we're going to cut all the way to one and a half. So one and a half is right here. I am going, I'm holding the kind of marking. It's white, so it's very easy to see, right? There it is. And then we're going to go below and we are going to cut all the way to three and seven eighths. So that's a little bit harder because it's right, right super close to the four, right? So I just go ahead and sort of calculate it, but I am not very concerned about making it perfect because we're going to turn this around. We're going to align at one and a half. Me, I don't want to make this wrong. Yeah, I was going to make this wrong. So, guys, it's all fine. So, be mindful. Let me bring this here. That the biggest piece, so the one that is, I'm going to mark it since this. So, this is 
Okay, sorry guys. This is where we cut. This We just cut. We have the paper just like this and this is where we cut. We need to cut these two pieces. Okay? So I know you can even mark them because in the end you're going to get rid of them. But we're going to align at one and a half. And we're going to cut. And that's why I was telling you that I was not very concerned about, um, about being exact because I knew that this was going to be cut. And now we are going to align at three and seven eighths. And we have this, right? It's a little bit complicated. So I figured you just turn this around at three and seven eighths. And as long as you're mindful that you have to cut from behind and follow this other cut, it'll be okay. I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, guys, let me know. And I, I did not cut very well there, but that's what we have our snips for. And so this is our first panel. And you guys can tell here, and especially it looks very, very nice against the, the, back, the white against the blue. So this is our first piano. And again, all those measurements, guys, will be included in um, oops, in the PDF tutorial. Now, I'm going to bring the other cheat sheet <laughs> and another piece. And it's going to be, this piece is going to be three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay? So just an eighth smaller and we are going to uh, do the same thing we're going to align here at one and three quarters so the short side oops the short side against the the trimmer align at three quarters and we're going to cut there and we're going to cut all the way up sorry guys all the way to one and a half which is right there okay and now we're going to move down just like we did before. And this goes to three and three quarters. Okay, so there's it. Like I said before, don't worry about it because we're going to turn here. We're going to align again to one and a half in there. And we're going to cut this piece first all the way to that cut we had so we have another little piece and like we did before we're going to turn this and this is just because it's easier for me and we are going to align at three and three quarters which is the other measurement and we're going to cut and yes we're going we have to cut here um, from the bottom and like I said use this as a guide right so you don't make mistakes yes I did make mistakes so that's so you guys know um I was making one of the other cards and, and I made a mistake. So that's why I always tell you guys, be mindful because it happens to me. So this is kind of how it's going to look. So we have one and two layers. If you want to not do these pieces together, you can totally make like longer panels and smaller panels or just you can play with this as much as you want. I, I tend to like these together because it feels like it has some, some continuity. But again, you guys can do whatever in that sense. I think this is ready and we are going to add these to our front because I don't want um, to have to like to do a whole lot while we have, uh, after we're decorating the inside. Okay, and same as always, guys, this is just an eighth smaller, and there we go. I kind of messed it up a tiny bit there. Okay, so I am just wondering, guys, can you still see me on YouTube? Is it okay? Please let me know. Just let me know real quick. And I have all the pieces here. So I have, of course, two beautiful gold ones. And here comes part of our choices. So I kind of really like this one. And we are going to add probably that one. But I don't know. So I had, this is using the embossing folder. And I love how it looks. It's just, what be the right word? It's just soft right I love love um, embossed 
or dry embossed paper, or we can do just white. What do you guys think? We are going to use um, the sentiment, but the sentiment is using uh, one of the dies that come there too. So I like we don't need to worry about stamping. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Perfect, thank you. Perfect, thank you. So what do you guys think? Do we want, we could do two things. So we have several options. We can do these options that has stars and stars. We can remove this one and just have, you know, simple paper, or we can just keep it all very vanilla. What do you guys think? That's the first thing we're going to, or the second thing we're going to choose. So either we have two stars or very vanilla or, or a combination. Let me know, guys. Oh, thank you, Becky. I appreciate that. Let me know what you guys think. I, I, I think I really like this paper. So I keep thinking I don't want to, quote unquote, sacrifice this one. Um, and then this one can be the embossed paper. So we can do this like this. What you guys think? Okay. Okay. So stars and stars is what we're saying. I just scared the dogs because I moved. <laughs> they just like get so close to me, guys. I can't like move backwards. Okay. So we'll put that there. So star and star. I like it. Okay, so we are going to bring glue. Another thing I want to say that I didn't say, but I want to remind you guys, when you cut this type of paper or make this type of cuts, remember that if this side, you'll have to be mindful when cutting. Otherwise, it can't, like you can cut it wrong. I didn't do it this time, but it has happened a few times. So the easiest way to do it is turn it around, right? Like turn your DSP around and cut. So that way it um, it works better. And so we are going to do this. And I don't know if that make any sense, but bottom line, if you have pattern paper that has a direction, be mindful when you're cutting this. Otherwise you may cut it wrong. It's like cutting, uh, it's like cutting triangles, right? Yes, Cliffy, this is such a beautiful DSP, like the whole, the, again, I know guys, I know you guys know, these, this suite is probably one of my favorites. Uh oh, don't tell me that you're unhappy. Um, definitely, I love this suite. It has been, I don't know, such an inspiration. That's, that's what I'm going to say, such an inspiration. And this DSP does not, it just does not disappoint at all. It was awesome. This catalog was awesome okay so again I'm being very mindful here because like I said it does move and I have had times when I like move it and don't realize I moved it and then it's glued and it's very annoying and I'm pretty sure it's probably happened to you all in the past okay so I'm just holding this for one second so it's ready and just like it is guys it's a complete beauty I have to, and, and of course it's the paper, <laughs> but just like it is, it's, I mean, I just think it's so, so beautiful. Okay. So of course, same as I always do, I have a, a variety of, of thingies in here <laughs> to play with. Um, okay. Where's my, let's see. So there is another decision we have to make guys. I did embossed, uh, not embossed, I did uh, stamp this in Night of Navy and of course on um, heat, uh, heat embossing gold, sorry. Yes, Kiwi, totally in agreement. Um, the only reason, well, Hey, Diana, how are you? Thank you, Kiwi. So you know what, Kiwi, for these two pieces, I would advise using glue. I have to say, um, unless you're like really, really good <laughs> at putting them, you know, when you're adhering stuff, 
um, the glue actually absolutely gives you, you know, that leeway to work to glue this and just because it has a different shape. Um, for the others, you're totally right. I could have used uh, the tear and tape. I just tear and tape or stamp and seal plus. I just, you know, I've been lazy with them. So what do we think? Do we want, do we want blue or do we want the gold? And actually this is going to go in here. So either or. I know it doesn't seem like it, it. It's hard to see, but if you look at like this, you can totally see it well. So, what do we want? Blue, blue or gold? That's the first question, and then we'll start decorating. While you guys decide, I'm gonna bring the rest of the little stars and stuff that I had um <laughs> already die cut. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys like it. What do we want? I don't want the um sentiment in here because it's like sentiment sentiment so i feel like you have to have like sentiment something sentiment i don't know if that makes sense blue gold okay so we're having so far we have a tie <laughs> can we that is so funny so i'll let you guys think in the meantime and while you tell me i'll tell you what i have in here so this is called shimmery paper. It's hard to see. There it is. Um, okay, Carrie, have a good one. This is that shimmery paper. I absolutely love it. You can barely see it, but it is shimmery. Okay, let me see. There. I did die cut some of uh, little gold berries and it just looks so pretty and then i did the same but backwards so i did it oh my gosh okay there maybe there it is i did the gold with the blue okay so i in i just love the color combination okay so we have those two and again this belongs to the magical meadow so it looks like the it looks like blue one. Sorry, Kiwi. Don't worry, we can use this another time. Um, and so my thought is we can see because we are my plan is maybe I do have a plan. It's like you can put this one or this one. It really doesn't matter at this time. Um, maybe there or maybe towards the bottom and maybe one towards the top and then put this on top or maybe like that we have to be mindful because these remember that let me remove this this does um go like you know so we have to be mindful about these pieces but these this will do i think we can lower it in a little bit in the worst case scenario we can chop chop a little bit right and so if we do this then we're able to put these here in dimensionals. And I think that looks oh so pretty. The, the other thing I have, I have just regular um, pieces without the berries. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. I just gotta, you know me, right? I always have enough. And then there's another one in here that I cut single on its own um, in blue. And then I have a lot of pieces. So I want this super big, star in here right i feel that that will look super cute and then we're going to bring some little other some of the other stars and we can put one there and we can put one here but like we can just play a lot with this um and i have a big big star that i can put on top of here and where's my little bow that we want to put in here and then we have still some extra stars in case you guys were wondering um that we can totally use around but i do have the uh little stars the trinkets the adhesive back star trinkets and we can do this so what do you guys think looking good so far oh i'm so glad you like it kiwi oops that was not meant to happen okay let's start with that adhering these This shimmering paper comes in 
bubble bath, let's see, bubble bath, very burst, lost lagoon, pretty peacock, and night of navy. Um, and it is in the annual catalog, but it I think it's just so beautiful. Kiwi, what paper do you want? The this one, the shining, shining brightly. That's how it is. Shining brightly, yes. Okay, I'm going to put this as best as I can towards a little bit to the top in there. Um, and I, I see this friend in here. I think that we may be able to convince it to move it towards there. And so it's not there. Um, and then we have this one. Yeah, you know what? So gold and blue is one of those colors that I feel are just spectacular together, right? Same as like gold and in Blackberry Bliss. Like I feel those are colors that really... I don't know what the word is. The right side still needs. <laughs> okay, you're so funny. It's fitting left out. Yeah, we don't want that. This is a Christmas card. Nothing should be left out. I'm going to put dimensionals on this one, guys. I just feel that a little bit of height will work. And I'm going to put, sorry, a little bit of blue there. So... And guys, I still have some more. I, I am a little bit OCD, guys, definitely. So I'm going to use this. I just don't want... Um, blue shows up better. Yes, I, I agree, um, Judy, totally. It shows. It just looks so beautiful. And so I'm going to... Oh, that one I had already removed. Remove this, too. And we're going to put the one inside here. And so that just like makes all the decorations. And I just love how the berries mix and match. Guys, I can tell you how much I love you. Yeah. Oh, the Chiming Brightly. Yeah. Um, has it been too like hard to get it? I know that the All About Autumn has been, but I, I didn't know that this one too. Ah, uh, Adrian. Well, yes, you need this DSP. Because this DSP is gorgeous. There's not, and there's another thing, right? It, it has stars, but the other patterns are just one is leaves, and the other one is this one, and it's not really, it's not really, you know, like Christmas necessarily. This would be the like the one that's more and more Christmas. Um, I just don't think that the rest are, and so I don't know, guys. I feel like I'm gonna put this one in here. I just feel that there's no need to. Um, it's not Christmas exactly. Sorry, guys. Oh, of course, Kiwi. However you want to case it, be my guest. I love when people like the projects enough that they case them. That makes it ha makes me very happy. I need a smaller one in here, but I don't have a smaller. They're all the same, so I'm not sure. Like I feel like it needs to have a third one in here. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> Guys, I, I have a really hard time with straight lines. So I need something to balance that. <laughs> yes, this is very shiny. There's no doubt about it. No second guessing. No doubt. No. Yeah. Okay, guys, let me see. I'm going to cut these a little shorter and we are going to adhere this in here. I think I'm so glad we decided to put this one in there. This could have been a little smaller, but I didn't think about that. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. And now I need guys your expertise do we use do we use glue dots i see a lot of people using glue dots but i just have the feeling that this is not going to hold well with glue dots um kiwi so the reason i did not think of that of a 
trinket. It's because um, I don't want more, I don't want this to build too much because when it folds, we already put dimensionals on here. So when it folds, it's still going to be like thick and I don't want that to be too thick that it's too hard for it to fold. I know that I always have the same issue when I am trying to um, glue this. In a past life, I would have just used hot glue. <laughs> hot glue and I have been very good friends for a very long time. Um, so <laughs> I'm just letting you all know. And so I'm going to bring my little bow. And it's beautiful. Oh my God, this ribbon is so amazing. Glue dots? Okay. Okay. Glue dots it is. So I'm glad I decided for glue dots. I have still this big star that we're going to put in here. And actually this one is going to have, if I find my, let's put some, you know what? I'm going to do this. Sorry guys. I'm going to bring my next, my new best friends, guys. These are amazing because <laughs> they just fit so well for so many things, right? Like, look at that. See, it fits perfect. And so we're going to use this. So these are called dimensional strips. I almost cut the star, guys. Almost. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Um, Ida, I will do that here in a second. So see how good this works? I love, I love these strips. They are so good and simple for this kind of stuff when it's like all straight. I can see, sorry, that one. I can see a little piece of in here. So let's cut it. There you go. And... There we go. Is that okay? I think that we made it. So let's bring my glue dots. Oh, I have several guys. I have a lot of them. I've mentioned this to you. Like, I have so many of them. It's crazy. Um, thanks to my paper pumpkin kit. Okay. So just a question. Wouldn't then then. Tear and tape would be the same. Isn't tear and tape like really close friend of glue dots? Like they're at least relatives, aren't they? I would think so. And I put another one just because this is such a um this 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 ribbon has so much not dimension, I forget the word, but like mountains to it because of all the glitter that I feel that too will help. Okay. And now I still have some stuff here, but I think I give up. We're going to bring my um, friends. And we're going to put a couple of them, maybe, if they want to. We're going to put one up there. And we're going to bring one of the smallest ones. And it's just so, looks so cute because it looks like it's part of the paper, right? I love it. I'm going to move this a little bit higher here, maybe there. Okay, and we're going to bring maybe one of the bigger ones too. And we're going to put it right here. Whew. Guys, we made it. We made it. Okay. So, the card comes like this. And you open, and it looks like that. And, of course, you can put it stand. And this is what I was telling you guys. I'll show you. Like, it can totally... Um, like if you do this backwards, like this, is how the other card looks like. And I know, I know we've done something similar in the past, guys, like this, closing like this. So it's not a new card. I just let myself fool. Oh, you're, you're right. Totally right, Kiwi. But this is the card and I think it's super, super cute. Oh, thank you, Cherry. I appreciate it. Okay, so the other thing is this totally could do 
with a belly band. I didn't think about that, but as you can tell, especially when I put all the layers, it starts growing. Now, I made the two other cards. Let me show you. Here's I have a mess. So, and this is Happy Thanksgiving. This is using new and retired stuff. This is one of my favorite dies. It's called Word Wishes. Word Wishes. And I think it's been like annual catalog two years ago or something like that. And this is so I try to stay with the colors um, on, from the paper. So the Lost Lagoon and the Crush Curry and the um, Calypso Coral. But this one I did uh, use Pretty Peacock. And I have to tell you guys, I love the Pumpkins and Calypso Coral. Much, much better than the regular Pumpkin Pie for whatever reason. Um, the Pumpkin Pie is to, I don't know, yellowish, and this one, I don't know, I really like this one. And so it opens, and we have our little crows, and we have, this is, this is all the stamps from, um, this is Pick Up the Patch bundle. These little swirlies are from last year, from last year, I have not. Oh, I'm so glad, Anita. I'm so glad you like it. Guys, I'm so glad you like it. And so this is just a Thanksgiving one. And I really like it. It's much simpler. See what I was saying? Like there's less less um, thickness just because the uh, gold foil is thick. And so this one, but this is super cute. This is simpler, but it's super cute still. And then, of course, I had to make something with my berry <laughs> bears. <laughs> Oh, Cliffy, I'm so glad you like it. Um, I did use the masks to uh, do some paste embossing here. It's hard to see it. I thought it was going to be easier to see. Maybe I should have done it in white and not the sparkly one. I don't know. I mean, it's, you can see it when you're in person, but it's not as easy. As, I don't know. It's just not us. And it opens, and I just have this beautiful foresty scene <laughs> so this one can be totally totally just for somebody's birthday um in the in the you know if they have a birthday like in the, the in the winter i really really like this one too because all it says is warm wishes right and so you can make a little note and put it something you can totally also make a note in the back um since i use all decorated possible decorative space <laughs> It's in here to decorate, um, but I really like this one. I am using the berry, the, the merriest trees for the trees, um, and I keep forgetting this paper. How is it called? Let me see, guys. I forgot the name of this paper, but this is the Walk Through the Forest, I think. This is that special paper that is associated to um, a fundraising, right? Um, so if you get this one, you know, you're helping. And that's one of the other things that I like about Stamping Up is that, you know, part of what we do is very focused towards helping and helping and helping our community, right? So, okay, guys, I'm moving this here because I forgot I'm on top and so <laughs> you're not seeing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really, really like um, this paper. I told you guys, I even got another another one because the back is, is very masculine. So this is a wonderful masculine paper. And this is these are our, our cards for today. Yay, guys, it's 58 minutes. I'm not sure how that happened, but it's only 58 minutes. So I am super excited. So let's do our ruffle. So Adrian. Before I forget, send me an email with which card you like. I am sorry, but I am keeping the triptych, the nativity triptych. So that's the one you want. Um, it could be the one that has the cheerful daisies or the one with the winter meadow. So just let me know which one of those you want. And so there's my big hand sorry um let me know which one of those you want uh via email or you can let me know here if you need a reminder i can bring them so you can choose in the meantime let me hook up our thank you ida i am so glad you like it 
Oh, I'm so glad you, oh, I'm so glad. That makes me, that's like the biggest compliment, right? I feel that it's so nice when you guys really like a card and want to make it um, several times. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go to our raffle, please. Now, this is for last week's. And for last week, by the way, guys, um, you can totally have whichever of the three. That Nativity one, I think I'm going to keep to myself. Um, I really, really like it. Or maybe send it to my mom or I don't know. But it's going to be one of those. Okay, so I am going to move that there. I'm going to try same as mine. Never have and the winner is Belinda. I don't know if she's here. I have not seen her today. Was she here today? I don't think so. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Hi, also, dogs are just in front of me. Okay, so Belinda, you're the winner. Let me know which one. So you're the winner for the Be Mine um, scene step card. Let me go back to the crafting table real quick. So these, let me remove this. These were the two. So here's the cheerful daisies. Um, and it had like the little tag and you open and this one in here. And then this is the winter meadow. Yeah. Winter meadow. So this is the little tag. And then you open and it has, you know, same. I should take this away because I keep forgetting. I'm like, where do you put all my little cards that I have there? Um, so these are the two I have available. Um, this one, if you notice, is a little bit smaller than the other one. I just was trying different sizes. Is it? I would say it's like maybe half inch, maybe i don't know but anyways these are your two options let me let me know which one you would like best and i am sorry about the nativity one but um yeah that was i think i'm going to keep it for myself I, I i have a nativity thing like i have several nativities here i have one one in the back there yeah i have several nativities around so um <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm keeping <laughs> um, so these are your two options I hope you like one of them let me know let me go back in here yay we made it guys we made it in under an hour isn't that amazing <laughs> well it's an hour and two minutes but we were done before that so I'm super super excited congratulations Belinda just I I think I have your Belinda's email, if I am not mistaken. So I will send her an email um, to see which one she wants. And I do have her address too. So in Adrian, I do have your address. So as soon as you let me know, I will send this friend to you. And guys, I sure hope you like the um, video today. I will have, again, the PDF ready and everything, probably in an hour, an hour and a half. But it will be in my um, website. So, um you can totally go and download it and print it. It, it has, again, it has a, um, the template there. So in measurements, um, I did not give a whole lot of explanations because I've done, we've done this several times, but okay. Oh, That's fine. Thank you, Adrian. Okay, I'll send that to you. Let me put this back in here so I remember. I have several things to send. Um, oh, thank you, Cliffy. I'm so glad. Yes, um, the nativity one. I know. I know. It's it. It was well done. I have to say, there's sometimes that I have a moment of brilliance, and that was one of them. <laughs> Cliffy, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate um, your support. And to all of you at the same, I do appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me. And I hope you enjoy um, today's card. And I'm just sending you all 
good vibes. Miss Judy sending you lots of love, hoping you're feeling better and you keep doing better. And, um, you know, you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. I'll see you Friday for the Paper Pumpkin Kit Alternatives. And let me see what else. I think that's all, guys. So again, thank you. Thank you so much. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also um, share because that helps me a lot. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. God bless you all.